Within this video, we're going to continue working through our lesson two of the Rube Goldberg machines. Specifically, what we're going to go ahead and work through is this interface, activity one, size and balance. So go ahead and follow along in the PDF or follow along here inside of the video. So to begin this, let's go ahead and just hit the play button up here at the top of the interface. When I click on that, you'll notice that our weight actually pulls the lever down on the left-hand side. So go ahead and press the escape key on the keyboard or the stop key up here at the very top of our interface to go ahead and stop the simulation. And what we wanna do is actually play with the balance here inside of this lesson. And to test that, we actually have this weight right here already ready to go. We're just gonna go ahead and duplicate it and set it up on the other side of the fulcrum of our lever and test to see if this will actually balance. So let's go ahead and just left mouse click and select on this. And I'm gonna hold down the Alt key on the keyboard on Windows and the Option key on Mac. And I'm gonna hover over this green arrow right here. And if I hold Alt and left mouse click and drag, I can then duplicate this and push this over. Now to make sure that this is in the same exact location, we can use the colors on this lever to check this out. So if we go all the way over here to this yellow and blue one, and I'm gonna try and get this right on top of that line. Now, when I press the play, what we would expect is that this will actually balance out. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. Press play, sure enough. Now it will be a little bit off and that is actually because of the physics engine. It does need to calculate something first before it calculates something else. So in this case, the right hand side actually calculated first. So let's go ahead and stop this. And if I grab this and just pull it over just a tiny bit about like so and try play again, we can see that we can get it a little bit better, but now the left side is actually calculating to be a little bit heavier. But for the most part, you can actually see that this 10 kilogram weight is actually even on both sides of the fulcrum of our lever. Now let's go ahead and take this another step. And what I wanna do is balance one of these so that it's equal to two of these on the other side of the fulcrum, which is right here. So let's go ahead and just delete this one on the right-hand side. I'll select it and then I'll hit the delete key on the keyboard. And this one right here, I wanna make sure that it's exact dead center on the fulcrum before I move it over. And to do that, what we can do is actually select our lever and over here in the details panel, you'll find a little section right here that says location. And I'm gonna copy that location and then paste it onto this one right here. So to do that, I can right click on location and go ahead and choose copy. And then if I select the weight and then come over here to location again, I can right click and choose paste. And that's gonna put it right in the middle. Now what I wanna go ahead and do is just lift it up so it sits on top of it. So I'm gonna lift it way up above just so for sure. And if I press the end key on the keyboard, it'll actually snap down and reach the surface. Now, if you don't have an end key on your keyboard, that's fine. Just go ahead and do this. Come up here to where it says actor and then come down to where it says snapping. And what we're looking for is this snap to floor. It's basically just going to find the first thing it can collide with and then just snap directly to it. So go ahead and just click that and you can see it snaps right down. To be certain that we're gonna get an exact measurement on the left and right hand side of the fulcrum, we're gonna use a little trick here inside of the Unreal Engine called Delta Transform. And this just means a difference in movement. So what I'm gonna do is make sure that my object here is selected and up here in the top, we're gonna come up to Actor. We're gonna come down here into Transform and you see this first option says Delta Transform. So we'll go ahead and choose this. And it's gonna give us a little dialogue and we wanna move this a specific number of units. Now this is in centimeters, so let's go ahead and move this one to the left-hand side, 50 centimeters. So I can type in a value of 50 and go ahead and say, okay. So there we go. Now on the other side, we wanna go ahead and put two of them, but we want them to be 25 centimeters from the fulcrum. So to do that, we'll make sure that we duplicate this object in the same location of where it is. So that's simple enough. We'll come up into actor. We're gonna come down here into edit and choose duplicate. So we know it's right there on top of it. Now we're gonna go ahead and move it 75 centimeters from this location to the right. So to do that, we'll go up to actor, come down into transform and use Delta transform. And in this case, we'll go ahead and type in negative 75 and press okay. And we want two of these over here. So let's go ahead and just click and drag on this little arrow and push it up a little bit. And if I hold down the alt key on the keyboard and left mouse and click and drag on this area, I'll create a duplicate. So now we know for sure that this object is 50 units, 50 centimeters from the fulcrum and that these two are 25 units, 25 centimeters from the fulcrum. So this should balance out. So we'll go ahead and hit play and you can see it's working pretty good. That's pretty impressive. Now, if we really wanted to kind of tweak these, we could definitely grab these and use that Delta transform just to kind of tweak them a little bit, but we can also kind of eyeball it at this point. So I'll just slide them over a tiny bit and hit play. 
until we kind of get an exact balance. So go ahead and play with this until you get an exact balance or something that's super, super close and go ahead and show off your work by using screenshots.